Hi everyone, this is Jason, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the library video streaming platform. But before we begin, please take a moment and subscribe to Dragwolf Tech TV on YouTube. And make sure to hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. Library is a video platform similar to Steemit's DTube, where video, music, and other content is uploaded onto the library blockchain. And like Steemit, Library has its own native token, the LBC, which is traded on Bitrix, Polynix, and Upbit. The Library desktop platform is available on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and Library's code is open sourced and can be used to create other projects. If you are currently on YouTube, you can claim your channel name on Library. For content creators with at least 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, there is a Library Partner Program where you can earn rewards based on how many subscribers your channel has per year. When you first open the Library desktop platform, you'll be on the Library landing page where you can see featured content, trending content, and content created by other users. Below that is the Subscription tab where you'll see the content of the channels you have subscribed to. After that, we come to the wallet. When you click on the wallet tab, you will see the current balance of your library account, as well as rewards that are claimable, your library wallet address, and any recent transactions. There is also a QR code that can be scanned for deposits on mobile devices. Click through and you'll see a send and receive, how to earn rewards, and how to back up your wallet. Next, you come to the My Library tab. It should be pointed out that when you view content on library.io, a file is downloaded of the content to your computer. This is particularly important to users with small capacity hard drives as that can fill up space rather quickly depending on how many videos you view and how big the file itself is. After that, you come to the publishing page where it shows where you have uploaded your own content. As you can see, these are the videos that I have uploaded so far. Then there's the invite page where you can enter email addresses to send links to potential users so they can check library out for themselves. After that, we come to the actual publishing page. Now how this works is you click choose file, select the video you want to upload, Give it a title and a brief description. After that, you click choose thumbnail. Select the thumbnail you want to use. Click upload. And there you go. After that, you decide if you want the content to be free or if you want to charge for the content, which you can. You can charge in either library tokens or you can charge in USD. Once you've done that, you decide if you want the content to be anonymous or under your user account. Whichever option you decide will change the URL. Libraries platform will tell you how many LBCs are required to publish. And below that, you select if the content is for mature audiences only or what language and what license would apply. And then you hit publish. Next you click on the settings tab. From here you can decide where the downloads will be downloaded to. You can set the limit of how much you'll spend on content. After that you can select autoplay. You can select automatically download new content from your subscribers and select if you want to show not safe for work content. The first two options, autoplay and automatically download, goes back to what I was saying about the downloading to a small capacity hard drive. You definitely don't want these two things checked. Next is notifications, and then you can share diagnostic data with library. You can choose whether to have a light or dark theme, and you can also select a wallet password which is good because if you're going to have not safe for work content toggled on, you don't want people to just be able to open the platform. Lastly, we have the help tab, 
where there's the FAQ, and then there's a chat you can join to speak to someone for help. Libraries customer service is active on social media. I've spoken to them um, on Twitter a few times, and they have expressed that they are working on a way to get around the um, automatic download uh, feature, um, but currently that is still a factor. Okay, so that's the library.io platform. I wanna thank you for watching this short tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. I'm hoping to grow this channel and I appreciate you taking the time to view these videos and I hope you come back for more. Thank you and take care.